What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today I am bringing you guys some more R Factor with Drift Mods. Now, I posted an R Factor video a while back and a lot of you guys were like more R Factor, more R Factor and I was having a little bit of trouble getting a couple of things to work but I finally got um, everything sorted and R Factor is back and we're going to be doing a drift build of this gorgeous FDRX7. Um, it's already pretty built as it is but we're going to be doing a lot of customization on it so we're going to go ahead and go to customize and vehicle and we're going to go ahead and go straight to the upgrade section as we would and we're going to start off with the rear wing now a lot of the wings in here um i actually like to be quite honest i love the uh remmia uh gt wing as well as the cusco gt wing haven't looked at any of the others i mean i'll check them out let's see no 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 um I like the Aria Mamia GT Wing, absolutely, yeah, that is what we're going with. Um, for now, for the, ri the, the, the rims, wheels, whatever you want to call them, I, I like what we have now, but I'm going to go ahead and see what else we have access to, so, um, let's see. Those are nice. I mean, the RPF ones are pretty much nice on everything. Let's see, SSR, pro oh my god, professors? Oh, dude. Oh, my God. Professors? Oh, wow. I, I'm seriously considering going with these because I really, really, really like them. Um, You know what? Yeah. Yeah, we're going with the professors. Professors. Black. Oh, man. That looks legit. That looks so gorgeous. Strobe light? Where would the... Oh, 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 I see. I got it. I got it. What the heck did I go in the engine for? Okay, yeah, we'll go ahead and install the strobe light. I mean, I don't know. Oh, seems cool. Um, now, let's see. Um, mm, they're probably... They're all 13Bs, but I'm going to go ahead and install the... <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and install the 558 horsepower 13B because I'm going to go max with this thing, or at least as max as I think is... Um, think is appropriate um as far as the gearbox i'm probably just gonna go with probably just gonna go with the gearbox that's already in there realistic gear shift um not sure what that does so we'll leave it the way it is uh for brakes we're gonna go with the brembo gt kit because why not uh steering rack ratio it should be on mm, stock steer ratio no i'm thinking this d1 gp steering ratio is what we want i think that's what i've used before the real feel uh, real feel feedback. Well, I think that it, I think that's right. I think that's where it should be. I'm not totally sure. Um, I think that's where it should be though. We'll see once we get in and we'll see if I've actually like just completely screwed this car up or not. We'll see if it actually works or if I've screwed it up completely. So, um, let's go ahead and find a track to test it out on. Now I've been doing a lot of testing here and I don't know how many of these tracks actually work, but we're going to try and let's see. Mills Grand Prix, no. Circuit, circuit raining, circuit wet. Uh, let's see, D1GP. Suzuka, maybe. Um, let's do... I remember this one not working, I think. I think I remember loading this one, and it didn't work. So, we are going to do... Well, this might actually be kind of cool, but let's do uh, let's do a Bisu and and pray that it works. Because if it doesn't, I don't know what's gonna happen to this video. I don't know if Fraps will crash or what. Hoping okay, it worked. We're good. Real it feel worked. is enabled. And thank you, thank you. We needed that. Um, now the challenge is to actually see if we've done this properly. Now I've never been to this track before, so. We'll see if I've actually set this car up properly. Or at least somewhat close to that. I'm gonna have to get used to it. It's kind of different. I've been practicing with my S13 a lot, and this just feels really different. What the heck? It bogged down. It's a rotary and a turbo, so you really have to keep the revs up. That was a little close. Or at least a little close for comfort. Mmm keeps bogging down. I need to stop bogging it down. 
Just keep the rear spinning. There you go. There we go. A little bit. I don't know if that was a wall tap or if the camera just kind of glitched inside the wall. I remember this track from Need for Speed Pro Street, though. I raced it a lot there. Well, I say raced. I drifted it a lot in Need for Speed Pro Street. Keep it out. There you go. There you go. Touch the rumble strip and keep it out. E-brake it. Oh, wow. He braked it way too much. The e-brake in um, in R Factor feels so weird compared to the e-brake in Forza. I mean, it's it's gonna feel different, obviously, but the amount of which like of which it feels different is insane. Like the the difference is like seriously like night and day between um, the Forza e-brake and the R Factor e-brake. They're so freaking different. We we'll keep it out. Yes, yes, not bad. I'm going to go ahead and head this way, see if we can keep it. There we go. Keep the back end out, keep the back end out. Ah, didn't, it came back. It's a really fun car to drive, though. I really like it. Slight taps of the e-brake are what you have to use, because if it's anything more than a slight tap, then... It's gonna, it's gonna, it's basically gonna spin you out. Nope, like that, like that. Wow, first spin. First spin in this RX-7. Keep it out. Keep it, there you go. There you go. So you get back the other way. It's kind of odd because it definitely holds a lot more, um, it's easier to hold angle in than my S13. But my S13, I find to be a little bit more... I don't know, a little bit easier to control maybe, but that is probably just because I've drifted it a lot more. And wow, that line was garbage. That line was garbage. Try to see if I can get a little closer to the outside, then get some angle, then whip it back on the way in. Oh, dude, a little spit of flame. That was awesome. There you go, there you go. I pretty much saved that one. It was going a little too far out, and I was like, you know what? No, I am not going to let that happen. I'm going to save it. And no, I did not save that corner. Still having to get used to this thing. Whip it out. There you go. Pick it up to third. A little bit of a transition. Not that clean, but getting there. Ooh, that's a wall. Keep it away. There we go. A little bit of a wall ride. See if we can keep this going. Keep it smooth. A little transition. There you go. Haven't even come close to spinning out yet. Oh god, oh god, keep it. Oh, keep it. There you go. Didn't even use any e-brake whatsoever. You just slow down and just use power oversteer and it works. It whoa, okay, that was nearly spun. That was nearly spun. No! Oh, come on. I felt it. I felt it starting to go. I was like, no, please no, please no, and then it went. It went. <laughs> Ooh, that was a bad line, but at least we were able to recover it and not spin. It's like, crap, 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 we're going! Wow, why did I go up to fourth? That was the worst idea. Why did I go up to fourth? That makes no sense. Just before a corner, no less. There, give it a nice transition. Try and get a little closer to the wall this time. Oh, that was a little close. That was a little too close, actually. We ended up turning it into a wall tap. Well, a little bit more than a wall tap. More like a wall slam. No, 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 no. Why am I spinning it? Dang. Similar line to what I took last time, but not quite. I want to say it might not be as predictable as my S13, but then again, my S13 is predictable because I've drifted it a lot. So, 
I think it's I think it's less a case of the car and me just not being used to this particular car because if I I'm sure it's a car I could get used to. It's a handling model I could get used to. But since the handling models, ugh, the handling models are so different for each car, it's it's kind of hard to be like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna build this car and be pro with it. No, you're not gonna do that in our factor. I mean, maybe if you know every car inside and out, but I mean that's gonna take that would take a really long time to do. It'd definitely take a really long time. To do. Oh god! Oh, oh crap! I was so close to the wall. Really? Get out of fourth gear! Dang! Now stay inside. There, stay to the inside. There you go! Much better than last time. Get a little bit of power over. There we go! That's the line I'm looking for. Now let's see if we can keep it without screwing it up for the rest of this run. Yes, yes, no, 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 okay, good, okay, good, I was like, no, 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 okay, there we go, we actually got it back, I was surprised we got that back, keep it out, enter wide, wide, get the inside, yes, I'm gonna go for one more clean lap, see if we can manage one more clean lap, And if I can't get one more clean lap, we're going to keep going until I do get, until I actually get one. Because I really want to get a clean lap in this car, because I really, really like it. I mean, I, I feel like, like I said before though, I don't, I don't, um, dislike this car because it's not, you know, super easy to get used to. That's actually one of the, oh, oh, come on. Really? Damn it. Well, I guess we're going for another lap then. Um, but I really like this car because of the fact that it has a challenge to it. It's, it, it's... It is different, yes, but the difference makes it good. The difference um, makes it a challenge. The difference makes it fun. The difference makes it um, makes it interesting. I mean, it, it would be gaming. Well, gaming. Forget you know. Other than gaming, I mean, life in general would be would be like not interesting at all without you know without having to get used to new things and having to change and adapt. And and I feel like this car. Um, is definitely an image of that in, in having to change and adapt um, because every time you change cars in you know change cars for drifting especially in any racing game you're gonna have to change and adapt but in our factor especially you really have to rework um, your ideas of how the car is gonna handle you can't just go in and be like okay I know how, the, how every car in this game is gonna handle um, I'll just make a slight adjustment for this one no you have to go in with an open mind for each car and be like, yeah, I'm I'm gonna be, I'm gonna basically be a beginner with this car, and you know how am I? You have to learn on the fly basically with this car. It's it's like, or with any other car in in our factor, you have to be willing to learn, and you have to be open to learn, and you have to be willing to, you know, you have to be willing to mess up a couple times. And there's no way you're gonna actually get good with a car without allowing yourself to mess up a few times. And if you're not willing to do that, then R factor might not be the game for you. I mean, it, it all depends on what your tastes are um, with games that include drifting. Because, like I said, if you're wanting something that's you know really easy to drift in right out of the box, you might want to look elsewhere other than R factor. But as far as my overall opinions on this car uh, go, I really, really like it. I absolutely, um, I love it. I love the way it looks. Um, I love, um, I actually love the sound and. I really like the handling. I'll be definitely, pr I'll definitely be practicing with this car more. I might be doing some uh, mountain drifting with it. And if you guys enjoyed this drift build, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more R Factor and more. And I will see you guys in the next one. And also, um, I do have plans to do another R Factor uh, video where I take this same car to a mountain pass and drift it there. So that would be, should be pretty cool. And again, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.